One way through which one can survive in business is by having partnerships and partnerships that are trusted and supportive. This support can even come from competitors in the same sector as it provides a strong lobby group to government, but also a united force against challenges in the industry. The other strength that can be drawn from this partnership is financing with business associates acting as lenders or providing references for loans from commercial banks or other lenders. According to Professor Gordon Wavamuno, the chairman's peer group of companies, the business community in Uganda has not been successful in this regard last year and hopes this can change in 2015. 2014 has been a very tough year, in my view, not only for me but for everybody because the purchasing power has not all that upright because there is a lot of new product which comes from various countries which competes with the product also we bring in and we do get I do get problems with uh, where I give credit and I don't get paid in time. This as he also says that most people dodge paying taxes, yet Uganda Revenue Authority is always harassing people with offices and big companies to do so. Many DMCs cars on the road, trucks, vans, cars, and they are still ferrying the goods around. Why should we allow even trucks to ferry the goods in the village, like Gaba, Bunga, and what have you? Why can't the owner, importer of that thing, have those things in the store and take them to the, to the shop? There are trucks ro moving around at night in our villages around here, and yet we have security, and yet we are saying they are protecting us, and then they are talking about Al-Qaeda, and yet they are talking about everything. Why can't we have laws? Why can't the police from the top announce that no vehicles should go to Machindi, Muyenga, Nakurabie at night to deliver the goods? Whose goods are those? There is a number of people who have got closed houses. And they are smuggling in goods, they don't pay taxes. But the tax collector, you are a, they are just beaming on those guys who have got offices. Yet there are some people who are making money on our street. This remains a general concern to tax experts who think the revenue collecting body only targets a few people who are overtaxed when other sectors remain untaxed, especially the informal sector. This gives a burden of tax to a limited few who also end up starting to dodge or actually ignore investment for fear of the tax collector. But maybe the other reason that people dodge paying taxes is actually because they do not see value for their payment. Wavamuno says the taxes collected should be used to provide basic infrastructure that supports business activity. Every day you hear people fighting in the tax, tax park. Every day there are so many individuals who have hired border border to take them from one, one point to another point. Accident. They are in Mulago and other hospitals. Every day my cow also they are killing people on the roads. Where is our government? Where is the traffic? Our traffic which is paid. Recently, they said that they were going to arrest DMC vehicles. I can assure you, and I can assure you, that they didn't do the job. There are many DMC's cars on the road. Every economy has concerns about its unemployment rate. The problem with an economy with many unemployed people is that the levels of crime are always high, which is injurious to the business. This remains a challenge for government with thousands of graduates remaining unemployed even with their degrees. There have to be checks and balances in order to create jobs for Ugandans. But there is no any system around which can help us. 
we just look at daily politics. If they are talking about somebody's name, somebody's this, somebody's this. This is the current affairs. It's not giving us more mileage. So I think there is a room for our government to come up and do something. He also adds that by employing over 700 workers, he sees no need why people should go trek for jobs abroad, yet they are investors in Uganda. Uganda now has many young people taken out of the country, out of being desperate, but instead end up being trafficked for different unlawful purposes. For the last 20 years, this government, is, our government, is almost 30 years, where we have had to say yes, this lady was taken out, this man was taken now he's in Hollywood. We don't know where they, what they take them for. What is the reason why they are taking our children? Then you hear there are companies also recruiting people to go and work in foreign companies, foreign, foreign countries. Eh? What do we see? That some of them end up trafficking the drugs, some of them doing this and that. Why can't government, uh, the, 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 the parliament, regulate? If you have to do this, we, have, we want to get assurance that this person, this lady, is going to Dubai for six months and he has come back. Is there accountability? Is there reporting back? In 2014, several girls were rescued from countries like Pakistan and Saudi Arabia by immigration and other departments after being mistreated where they'd gone for greener pastures. Zamzam Siraj, WBS News, Kampala.